The article, part eight. A facet of antisocial personality disorder is rationalizing social transgressions as retribution for past perceived injustices, which is often the battle cry among those that flood my comments. Imagine making that argument to any other disenfranchised group. People do it all the time. People do it all the fucking time. You don't even gotta imagine. Just go to literally any black creator's account. Go to any disabled creator's account. Go to anyone gender marginalized's account. They're always doing that shit. The people that are actively participating in how normatively discriminatory this society is. They always do that shit. They're, this person is gaslighting a disenfranchised group that has been deliberately dehumanized with absolutely zero shame. And she's using the field of psychology to do it, which historically has happened to indigenous people. It's happened to black folks. It's happened to anyone assigned female at birth. It has it's, it's every form of institutionalization, every form of incarceration happens just like this. They literally created a term to tell, to, to, to stigmatize slaves who didn't want to be slaves. They created a psychological term. That's exactly what this motherfucker's doing right here with antisocial personality disorder. That is ridiculous. That is reinforcing the double empathy problem. That is reinforcing the idea that autists don't have the capacity for sympathy or empathy or human emotions. And you're literally calling us sociopaths. That is, that is ridiculous. You, do, you should not be in your position because this is absolutely unacceptable behavior. These, are, these biases that you're holding and passing off as your expertise, they are exceptional systemic violences that you need to unpack if you're ever going to help an autist. Genuine autism is characterized by pervasive difficulties in social interaction extending beyond mere moments of masking. I've never heard any autist that would disagree with that. Like, what is your point, to be honest? Self-diagnosed individuals who do not meet the full diagnostic criteria often display symptoms more aligned with personality disorders. You've already said this, and I've already debunked it. By embracing misinformed self-diagnoses, we risk hindering the progress of mental health research and treatment. That is such harmful disinformation. It's like you, I honestly, after reading this much, I'm, and I said this earlier to someone in a message, I don't have any proof of this, but I really am, a, I'm like a second away from um, making allegations that you're getting paid by some sort of fascist to spread eugenics misinformation about the autism community. Because it really, I mean, I, I just really can't explain it other than how, how ridiculous this is. In a moment where fascism is returning, you seem like a paid lackey that is here to harm us.